Thank you for watching this Hangloose Recluse production. In today's video, I'm going to do some voiceovers. Here's my golden microphone. There it is. It's an ADK. It's a TC Mark IX, but it's a good little mic. It's what I do all my voiceovers with. ADK, company from America. We're going to set this up to do some voiceovers. All right, so this is my uh, this is my microphone setup. So with the voiceovers that I have to do, I have to do a phone service voiceover. So I'll be like, hello, you've called so-and-so. Please answer the phone and I'll get back to you. Ah, oh, turn the radio off. Listening to coronavirus updates via radio. <laughs> Don't know why, but I am. Probably shouldn't be. Yeah, turn my little radio off. Yeah, so I'm about to do a voiceover system for a, for a phone company's phone messaging service. With these voiceovers, it's uh, corporate, so it's going to be something like, hello, you've called so-and-so. We are unable to take your call at the moment, but if you leave your name and number we'll probably call you back if we can get your message but if we don't get your message how can we call you back but you get the idea yeah so this microphone for now i'm just going to run off this desk for my voiceovers so what i have to do is mount the bracket that's going to hold the mic so out comes the bracket first what i'm actually doing by actually talking here is effectively warming up my voice but i should have a bottle of water with me because if you're going to use your voice for recordings you really need to uh make sure it's not dry and raspy and have plenty of fluids so we'll put the bracket mount on there tilt that over like that now it's only for a voiceover. It's not like a music recording where I'm going to be belting out singing and whatnot. Now, I don't like the way that sits. It doesn't sit right. I don't like it. So I'm going to try and get another microphone holder because that's just not going to do, do, do the job. I can't do it on this. This is impossible. Anyway, let's just put this aside. That can go down on the ground. Got to be gel delicate with that. So out comes the power supply for the microphone. That's what the power supply looks like. Power supply is a box that gives power out. There it is. That's the power supply for that. That's the other thing. I need a shock mount system. So with the shock mount system, um, yeah, first things first. Let's plug this. I need that. Potentially need that. Pop filter. That's a pop filter that allows you to talk behind a microphone and puh, puh, sss, helps with pops and hisses. So yeah, this is a work in progress and this is going to be a voiceover session. Hello, you've called so-and-so. We are unable to take your call at the moment, but if you'd like to leave your name and number, please leave your message after the tone. Thank you. That's how I do voiceovers. Hello, you've called so-and-so. We specialize in so-and-so, 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 but unfortunately you've called outside business hours. We are unable to take your call at present. Please leave your name after the tone and we We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you. No, that's not what it's going to be. Yeah, hello, hello, hello. Why does that have to be so horrible? That microphone stand's not right for this job. Can't use it. Oh, actually, I think I can take off the bottom half. That's what I need. I just need that part there. Silly me, silly me, silly me. I forget what they call this. That's right, they call this a gooseneck. Yeah, called a gooseneck. Sure it is. But that means that this will go straight on here now, and that will be more solid. Let's see how we go. Oh, I want to drop that on my toe. There it is. Let's get rid of the uh, box. Oh, that's going to be so much more solid. Hello, you've, you've called so-and-so. We're unable to take your call at the moment, but if you leave your name and number, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you. Now, the thing with this is because I've got it on this desktop, any bump is going to go through this microphone because it's connected and there's no shock mount system on here. So I can do this and stand back and do it and potentially have no dramas. I could even put on the pop filter that's on here if I can get that expanded enough. Whoa, don't think I can. Oh, almost. Ah, oh, there we go. She is beautiful. All right, so there it is. I'll do that back up and that will lock on the base. Again, any movement of this, rattle, rattle, is going to cause me some grief. Oh, that's going to do the job. I'm happy with that. Now, my power supply is over here. That's got a power supply to power this microphone. And then what I do is I run a line out into my recorder, my computer, to get the audio captured. But you do need this box to power this microphone because it's a special tube power this microphone, which means that it has to power a, a little, I think it's an AX7 valve that's inside there, a 12AX7, 12AX7 tube, which is inside there which actually there's a spare one in this case so i will show you what a 12 ax7 tube looks like you've probably seen it now i probably shouldn't touch it with my fingers because you're not supposed to get oil on them but i will pick it up by the pins it's got little pins on the bottom that's what a 12 ax7 valve looks like you find a lot of these in guitar amps and so forth and also high precision audio electronic equipment probably made in russia you can also get them made in china obviously the best ones were made in russia but uh, yeah, we won't go there, China. We won't go there, coronavirus. All right, so that's pretty connected there. So this is gonna be not so bad. Then I just have to plug it in. That goes into the, yeah, that is the mic end. So I'm gonna plug that into the microphone. Click. Wow, this is a, like I said, top quality mic. Hello, you're watching Hang Loose Recluse. Thanks for watching this Hang Loose Recluse production.
I think I might need glasses. I might go get checked for glasses one day. I'm all right, but I'm just getting older, you know? So I can still see, but I just think I might need glasses. Anyway, so that will be tilted down. Like that. that could go down a bit further. However, per, yeah, one, two. Hello, you've called me. I'm unable to take your call at the moment, but if you'd like to leave your name and number, please get back to me and I'll get back to you. But just, you gotta leave a message first. Thank you. That's how you do a voiceover. But then there's also editing afterwards. So I might even get into that as well. Thanks for watching this Hang Loose Recluse production. All right, so I'm about to do these voiceovers. This is my first take, so let's do this. If you are a customer, please press one, please press two. If you are a customer, please press one, please press two, please press two. If you are a customer, please press one, please press two. If you are a customer, please press one. This is so I want to tilt that back there like that. Yeah, check one, two, one, two. Oh, hang on, no wonder it doesn't sound right. Yeah, check one, two, that should be a lot better. If you are a customer, 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 if you are a customer. No, oh, I am recording. I didn't realise I was. So this is uh, this is the way I go about it. Hello and welcome. For all other inquiries, press four. Yeah, well, that was a take. See what happens. Record. Record. Hello and welcome. For all other inquiries, press four. Well, press two. Press three. Press four. Press five. Press hash. Please press one. Please press two. A. Please press one. Please press two. Please press one. Please press two. Righto, now we're going to get serious and we're going to do this properly. We're going to concentrate... We're going to think, we're going to nail this, we're going to get this right. One deep breath, one deep breath. All right. Hello, press one. For finance, press two. For home deliveries, press three. For all other inquiries, please press four. That sounded like Australia at, at 1912, you know, when the news bulletins came through. Hello and well, how may I direct your call? For customer service, press one. For finance, press two. For home deliveries, press three. For all other inquiries, please press four. <laughs> How may I direct your call? For customer service, press 1. For all other inquiries, please press 4. I quite enjoy doing these uh, videos. I, I can show you the difference between the audio that I'm going to get off my chest and the audio that I'll get off this uh, microphone. So I might just use this edit as a sample to show you guys how the microphone is a big difference. So the high quality microphone is a big different to the Lavalier mic, but the Lavalier mic still does the job out on the field. This is more of a studio broadcast style microphone but I'm doing currently doing voiceovers for a customer and we will show you some of the results I'll have to edit out because we don't need to show you who the customer is and what the customer it's actually uh services so I can't uh, disclose any more information other than that okay here we go press one press two press three press four press five please press hash press four I'll do one more take on that one what one more take okay welcome press one press two press three press four press five press hash let's see what we get inquiries press hash so this is the recording program that I use to make sure that uh, I do my voiceovers and edit properly. So I use Reaper and that's the Mac there. I use the Mac and then there's the input device. It's called an audio interface, which is a DAW, which is Digital Audio Workstation. And that's where I do my audio production from. And then if I go over here, there is my microphone. There's my headphones. There's the uh, power supply to control the microphone and all the messy cables on the floor, but that's okay because that all gets packed away. This is basically the area where I do my YouTube videos and voiceovers. There's the microphone and there's, there's the iPad at the back there that will usually have the script on there. And then there's a uh, bit of a Milwaukee light there, Milwaukee. That's to uh, give me some light in the studio. So this is where I do most of my editing. So I'll just go back and press play. Press five. For all other inquiries, press hash. Press four. Thank you for watching this Hang Loose Recluse production. Thank you.